Hi, I'm Gary Hall Sr. from the Race Club, and I am very pleased to have with us today a guest, uh, Davis Tarwater. Davis, renowned, famous swimmer from the University of Michigan, and he's now training at uh, Mecklenburg Aquatics with David Marsh. And here we are in Plantation, Florida, and uh, swimming through a little meet here, down here for about a week or so, training. About a week. Sorry we didn't have a little warmer weather, but nice to have you. Hey, thanks for having me. It's been great so far. Good. Davis is probably the most educated swimmer out there in the world today. He just got through with a year study at Oxford. And I uh, understand there was a pretty important competition over there where you swam against Cambridge. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it was the, uh, the big sporting event of the year. It was always the Oxford-Cambridge uh, varsity meet, and it happens in a number of sports, and swimming was one of the varsity sports. And so uh, we uh, swam Cambridge at Oxford, and the, the MVP of the meet got a nice ornate jacket called the uh, Oxford Blues jacket, which I won. And so uh, pretty excited about that. Well, I'll tell you, next to making the 2012 Olympic team, which he's going to do, he's going to announce that pretty quick after actually, actually the trials, but winning that MVP at Oxford Cambridge had to be right up there with the highest award you've ever received, I imagine. So. Probably. You know, I mean, the, uh, I've never been in a competition that had that much history and that had that much... Uh, you know, the feeling around that meet was unbelievable. You know, to know that it's been going on for 300 years, uh, to be a part of something like that and in, in an environment with, uh, you know, some smart guys and some guys that were really getting after it, it was just an unbelievable experience. Well, I was just, uh, I was intrigued by what you're doing now because you're 26 years old, you're still a puppy, <laughs> and you're just kind of reaching closer to where you're going to peak in life, and I'm just delighted to hear that you're training again and you're going to, uh, go for London, which I think is wonderful, and I hope you make it. I really am pulling for you, but thank you. Uh, you're doing some other stuff with your life, which is kind of interesting too. Tell us about your new company that you're working with and, and the work they're doing in Haiti, because I think that's very, very interesting. Right, uh, I'm working uh, for a uh, company in Charlotte called the Credit Development Institute, and uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, find and figure out uh, credit scores in Haiti, which is a developing country, so that we can effectively lend to uh, more middle class people and thus kind of expand the economy and usher in some more uh, entrepreneurship in an economy that really needs it. So it's very fulfilling and very interesting. Well, it's great and it's a country that, you know, was devastated uh, was, you know, last year, I guess, and uh, with the earthquake. And, and it's nice to see so many people coming to that country to help them and hopefully revive them and, and make them better than they ever were before. But uh, let's talk about your swimming. I saw you swim today and uh, we're not going to mention any times, but uh, your stroke looked pretty good and, and you're, you're only, what, three, four months into it right now, right? So uh, you're just starting to get the feel again of swimming. How, how's it going? It's going really well. I mean, I've effectively have had a year off and uh, so it was difficult coming back to know whether I uh, had enough time. Uh, I felt like I did and uh, there's enough guys that have you know, taking time off and come back that I sort of knew that I could yeah. do it, but uh, I'm only three or four months into it. I feel like my strokes are uh, really getting back on target. Coach Marsh is unbelievable at doing that. And, uh, you know, now the thing to do is, uh, now that I've got that baseline, is to just get in shape uh, and use the next 18 months to, to get fit. Well, and I'm happy you're giving yourself, you know, enough time. Is it, it's a little harder after you've taken a year off than a lot of people think, I, you know. I have my own personal experience, but it's not an easy sport, and you really have to give yourself plenty of time. But uh, David Marsh, great coach, a little different than what you've had in the past. Tell us about the environment. You got some great guys to train with. You know, what's how is his training compared to Mike's and, and some of the other coaches you've had? Right. Well, uh, you know, in, in my whole career, I, I would swim the 100 and 200 fly, and to some extent, the 100 and 200 free, coming at it from a place of uh, aerobic training of distance. And as I've gotten older, that's been a little bit more difficult to maintain. And uh, so I'm moving in a direction that tries to hit 100 and 200s of stroke from a place of power and speed. Uh, and so that's definitely been an adjustment for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, But it's one that's very welcome, it's very exciting, and I've really enjoyed uh, learning from him. Well, he's he's got the record to prove it, and he'll do it again and I hope he does it with you Davis good luck to you we'll be following along and, yeah, and thanks so uh, much for having me come down to the Keys and visit us next time you gotta
keep going south two more hours and you get to heaven. So <laughs> we'll be there with the boat ready and we'll take you out doing some serious diving when you're Great. Would love that. Thanks, Davis. Good luck Thank to you. you. Thanks. You too. Davis Tarweather.